Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Uncle Tone 99. It's Tony. How are you guys doing today? Today I'm going to have my final review for you guys on the Beats by Dr. Dre Studio Edition headphones by Monster. Um, I do have to say these were sent to me for review by Monster. I did not purchase these. It's a new FCC rule. We have to say that now. So I would like to thank Monster again very much for sending these out to me. I really do appreciate it. And without further ado, Let's get to the review. Okay, cool beans. Here we go with my review on the Studio Beats by Dr. Dre. Um, I'm not going to go through everything that's included in the package. I made an unboxing video for that. So if you want to see everything that's in there, check out my unboxing video. They do include this hard travel carrying case, which I have been using and it is a very nice case. Um, onward to the headphones. There are two cables included with these headphones. Your standard cable, the red one, which is your standard 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter headphone jacks. Um, one end does plug into the headphones on the left side. The other end plugs into your device. Uh, very nice, very good quality cable really nice, much thicker than your standard iPhone cable and as a result I really think that helps prevent these from tangling. These do not tangle. I have, you know, normally my mo normal method for storage is to simply take them, wrap them up like this in my hand, like so, toss them into the included pouch and leave them there. Next time I want to use them I simply take it out and there you go. Tangle free, just like that. Um, a lot of headphone cables I have used seem to tangle all by themselves. You don't even have to touch them and they'll just tangle all up by themselves. Not so with these ones. Also included is your iPhone cable, which works with your iPhone, your iPod Touch, your Classic, your Nano. Um, and it does have the clicker on it for playing and pausing and skipping tracks. Um, as you can see, there is no volume up and down on this cable. Like the control talk cable that's included with the solos has the volume up and down. This one does not. It just has the clicker. And uh, as you can see it's a little, it's right in the center there. It's a little bit sensitive. You have to hit it in just the right spot. But it does work really really well. And it also does work with gloves. I've tried this with my gloves on outside, you know, walking to work and whatnot. And it works perfectly. Um, this also does have the microphone on it. You can see it right there. Um, excellent microphone quality on these. Um, I have made several, you know, lots of calls while wearing these. As well as one night I used them for a stick am, and no one complained of audio issues. They work great. The audio sounds great. Um, callers can hear me just fine. It's a great microphone. Seems to work very, very well. So, on to the headphones. Now the headphones are an over-ear design, not on-ear like the solos. The solos sit right on your ear. These go over your ears, and your ear sits inside the cup here. Um, the cups are very, very soft. I believe this padding may actually be leather. It is really super soft, very comfortable to wear. Um, I, I could wear these things all day, and they would not get uncomfortable. I've worn them for hours at a time, and... Um, very, very comfortable. Very nice. You also have the padded leather band along the top here, which again is very, very comfortable. Um, the hinges are metal. These do have metal hinges on them. Um, they seem to be much, much better quality than the Solos. They are, of course, expandable to fit your ginormously large head, should you have one, or should you happen to be wearing a hat. And as you can see, they are metal and very, very good quality. Um, it does say Monster along here on this hinge. And Studio along here. I wonder if my new camera will focus in on that. There you go. Say says Studio right there. And Monster right over there. Very nice. Very good quality hinges. They seem to be quite durable and uh, don't seem like they're going to be an issue long term. Um, now these are powered headphones. These do require batteries to work. Uh, the battery compartment is inside the left ear cup. And to access it, you simply twist 
this plastic cover which pops right off normally when I'm not on video there we go pops right off and inside you have your two AAA batteries that these operate on these are the same two AAA batteries that were included with the headphones um, I have not changed them I've been using these pretty much daily for two weeks now and I have forgotten to turn them off a couple of times and left them on for four five six hours at a time and um, they're still the same two pair, two batteries that were included with it. Battery life doesn't seem like it's going to be a huge issue. Seems like it'll be fine. So I haven't had to change them yet. So not really a big issue for me. The batteries do power the noise isolation as well as the headphones. And um, the noise on the isolation on these things is incredible. When I'm wearing these with the volume at 50%, I can't hear a thing. Nothing outside of these headphones. Which is where this button comes in. Somebody happens to be talking to you and uh, you want to speak to them, you simply press this button on the right side and this stops the noise isolation and stops the music. You can hear, have your conversation, let go of the button, they turn back on, the music continues playing. It does not pause the music. The music continues playing, you just can't hear it. So, very, very cool. And then here's your power button right underneath the noise isolation button the stop music button and uh, seems very good very good quality um, as far as sound quality goes on these headphones um, if you remember watching my video on the solos I thought that they were much too bass heavy I prefer headphones with a more neutral sounding uh, neutral balance that's what I prefer uh, you know a nice well balanced pair of headphones um, these are the ticket right here. If you want more bass, you can turn up your bass booster, and there's plenty of bass to be had there. Um, I, pre I want to be able to hear the bass, but at the same time, I don't like it to drown out the rest of the music. Um, these fit the bill 100%. Um, the mids and the highs on these are the clearest, sharpest mids and highs I have ever heard on any pair of headphones. Um, I cannot tell you guys how happy I am with these headphones. And I'm not just saying that because Monster sent these to me. Um, I was considering purchasing these anyway. Um, I give you guys my honest reviews and honestly I can tell you that these are the best pair of headphones that I have ever used. Under the $300 price point, obviously. Now a few people and I've seen in other reviews have complained that they leak. And uh, they're right, they do. Um, I personally think I found the reason why they leak. I believe that these ear cups are vented. Um, as you see, if you can pull them out just a tiny little bit, I don't know if my camera will pick this up or not, but I believe these cups are vented to allow airflow to flow in and out through your ears to make them more comfortable to wear for longer periods of time. I think that that's where the leaking is coming from. And they do leak, yes, they're quite bad for leaking. But um, not really an issue for me. I don't really play my music at obnoxiously loud volumes where people around me would complain. So it's not really a big issue. Um, all in all, I would have to say, are these worth the $300 price point? These are $299 American, $350 Canadian. Um, would I say they're worth it? Yes, I would. Um, if it was up to me, would I pay $300 for these? Yes, I would. Um, these are very, very good quality headphones. I'm really super happy with them. And uh, I've been, like I said, I've been using these every day. These are the nicest, clearest sounding headphones that I've ever heard. I'm hearing textures and layers in the music that I did not even know existed. I also I did try out different genres of music with these. I tried them with some hip hop, some rock, some folk, some various styles. And uh, they sound very good with all of them. A little bit of EQ helps, you know, but basically they sound great with everything you listen to them with. So that's it for my review on the Beats by Dr. Dre Studio Edition headphones. I hope you guys liked it. Um, Check him out at uh, monster at beatsbydre.com. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Rock on with the beats.